Should we? We'll do roll, roll call. Okay, Kawashart here. Sidney J here. Rick Sauter's here. Julie Bartos here. All right. So the first thing is approving the agenda. Um, did everyone have an opportunity to review it? Any comments or questions? No comments, and I'll move to approve the agenda as it is. I'll second. All in favor? <laughs> okay. And then uh, meeting notes from May 5th. Were there any comments, changes, questions? I had none. Oh, sorry, I had none. Yeah, I didn't have any, but... Yeah, but was there a typo or something? Um, yeah. I think Julie, she always has a lot of shade. That's a good thing. Uh, I apologize. I looked at it. Okay. Um, okay. I'll move to approve the minutes as they are. I'll second. Okay. I'm in agreement. Hi. <laughs> Excellent. Public comment. I believe we have some public comment. Mm -hmm. Before you, before with Sandra Yanis mm -hmm. and with Cindy Zemanski, um, and I'm part of the Women's Statue Project um, group in Golden. And, and our our group's ethos is we would like to see more gender diversity and just diversity in general with respect to the art in our community. Um, and so I just wanted to come for a quick public comment because I spoke with um, Caitlin you yesterday. So Christy, Christy on the phone. And um, Christy did say that you guys are going to do a moratorium on any new art projects because she she mentioned to me that there's going to be sort of a work group. Um, she's they're going to redo a master plan. Um, yep, those are our consultants. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and so certainly I wanted to just come in and let you guys know that. Um, our group is still meeting on a monthly basis. Uh, we've got a lot of active women in the community, uh, women leaders. There's 20 of us that meet monthly. Oh, great. Um, and so we wanted to sort of let you guys know where we are in terms of this. And just to let you know that we're happy to be waiting in the wings when you do get feedback on the master plan. We're happy to pivot and shift accordingly, uh, whatever the consultants say. Um, because, you know, we would still like to be part of the conversation with PAC. Um, we did go to Pram we got some great feedback from them. So this is the Parks and Rec um, mm -hmm. people, and they basically were like, oh, yeah, if you guys want this spot on the corner of, um, the southwest corner of Parfait Park, great. You know, look into utilities. They were, you know, very um, positive in their feedback. Of course, we would need to run any location through PAC uh, for final approval. Um, so that's where we are. We have done an RFP. Um, and, um, you know, we'd love to be able to submit that, but maybe the timeliness is after the master plan gets done, and then we can always uh, So you haven't released things. your RFP? You've just developed it, or did we, you release we've it? We've developed it. We haven't sent okay. it out for the call to artists yet, and we will wait. We'll hold back okay. um, just to wait for you guys. So uh, just assurances from us that we're waiting in the wings. Okay. We're still here. Um, you know, we would love your support. We're not asking for an endorsement at this point. Um, but just, you know, like a gentle nod that uh, maybe you guys are all still in that direction of diversity and inclusion, um, because that's certainly our goal. And we really would like to still partner with you after all of this takes place. Great. So that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you thank all you. very much. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yes, thanks. Appreciate your time. That's it? Okay. <laughs> all right. So the business, the first um, item is small public art projects. 
So again, Steve's not here, he's on vacation, but uh, so I have lots of good news on uh, uh, the videos. Two are nearly complete. The third is being recorded this week. Um, is that the hummingbird? Is this week? Yes. Okay. Um, Gabe is actually going to Santa Fe to meet with yeah. who's wow. the artist whose name just went out of my head. Mm -hmm. um, is it Don? Don. Don. Ken. I know it's a short name. I just yeah. Don. Thank you. <laughs> so to get because he was saying he felt that it would and we approved some travel costs um, because he thought since the other two artists were interviewed in person he thought it would be a better product if he interviewed the third artist in person. So those will be he thinks by next week there'll be sort of some rough cuts for your subcommittee to review. Julie, so mm -hmm. that is making great, great progress. Okay. Um, and in terms of the itty bitty art committee, um, so it's that is a lot of details to work out, and it is all working out. So um, the th three property, private property owners who have approved all of the art on their sites. So and uh, ran it by Public Works and, and Parks, and they're great. <laughs> it's all good uh, for the publicly owned sites. So I'm starting Which to- Which are those three sites? The, the private. Mm -hmm. So in the Nelly Pocket Park, there's a piece on a wall. There's like one little size brick. It's like a little tableau of a little buffalo and a tree, mm -hmm. <laughs> one mm -hmm. brick wide. And there is um, sort of a mosaic and a crack in the ground. At the Buffalo Rose, there is um, ET, you know, mm -hmm. below the nozzles. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry. And then there's the water. Speech. Oh, and then the water spout. Yeah. And then the little at teeny. At the Buffalo Rose, too? No, that's or, at uh, 11, 11 Washington, you know, the building at the Howdy uh, folks building, there is a teeny little water spout that's mm -hmm. like this big. It's going to be painted to look like a waterfall. Okay. And so they're all fine. They're great. Okay. So I'm now uh, notifying each artist. And by the way, just because you were an, um, a not, you were an, it was anonymized. Mm -hmm. Two artists got were selected for three pieces each. Oh. One of them is a golden artist. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, cool. And, um, and there's another golden artist too, and in the case of that one, there was the dinosaur where cowboy hat wearing oh, dinosaur, yeah. who you asked if that artist would move to a different location, and that artist said yes. <laughs> so I'm now okay. notifying all of them, and um, and so little by little, we're so my direction to them, based on your direction, is could you get it up before Arts Week? <laughs> so, um, and the answer seems to be, sure, no problem. And, uh, um, you know, saying like, please come um, earlier in the day. If you're on the creek, don't come on a Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock. You know, <laughs> that would be the worst time. And here's one funny, I think I emailed some of you. One of the artists told me that one of the bases for making the, um, this is very funny, so like which piece to um, submit for, which site is whether they could wedge their body into the space to actually do yeah. the art. <laughs> you know, some of them are like this along, mm -hmm. you know, a sidewalk and so forth. So you will start um, seeing, well, you might never see them, but we're gonna start the artists in the next five, six weeks. Just oh. come do it when it makes sense for you. And we're also going to make sure everybody in city staff knows it's happening, and if you see somebody painting something or gluing something, it's okay. Don't do anything to it. So. Or at least ask them if they're part of the right. no, so art they'll, project. Right, they'll uh, <laughs> work on, so they'll all know, unlike the yarn bombing, don't cut it off, you know, just leave it. So that'll be really, really great. So um, will you be doing any promotion of them? I mean, will we? If, I hope so. We well, to, I'll, I'll try to take pictures if I see them. Or. Right. I mean, uh, who knows what <laughs> yeah, they're going to be. I'm like, right. I am saying, I am, am asking, let us know when you're going to be around mm -hmm. so yeah, be I can run out and um, take a picture with my yeah. iPhone. So the July Informer, whose deadline is tomorrow mm -hmm. for submission, is going to have an article about the Itty Bitty Art Committee Yay. project. Mm -hmm. And um, I do have to work with um, our communications department on a brochure of some type <laughs> mm -hmm. with uh, like one thing we have to figure out is we do want to have a QR code that links back to the city's website so that 
people can know about the art. The question is, what if the we talked about the QR code thing could be bigger than the art? So we got to figure that out. It's right. not all figured out. Mm -hmm. And then another thing that I'm hoping to be able to achieve, talking to some of the artists, is then could the city? And I don't see why not. Could the city's website then link to their own personal website? So artist A, mm -hmm. blah blah blah. You know. So we're figuring out the logistics, but we will have something in time for Arts Week, and then after that, and then this Golden will promote it, and Foothills Art Center mm -hmm. will promote it, and the Civic Foundation will promote it. So those are all in the works, and I just It seems to, like, could in the, in the Visitor Center, could there be just um, some sort of temporary signage that should, look at, yes, that the answer has is, a QR code? Because a lot of people go in there to start, and could they be. can start their tour yep. it's gotta, with All that the stuff QR. is good. So we want to yeah. like get that out in the mm -hmm. community and have... Awesome. So the answer is yes to all of okay. those things. So um, the reaction of the um, private property owners, like that's hilarious. <laughs> 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 so that is, it's really great, and the artists seem to yeah. be very pleased. So I will be, I'm putting together again, like each a sheet with each location and the art just so we can keep track of things. It is a lot of spreadsheets and right. and then all kinds of issues of getting into cafe, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is, and Eric had to download stuff for me. It's like, what? Yeah, that's, that's a, a, a great program and a clunky program. Oh my gosh, it's worse. Yeah. You can't get into the, you could get into the Pentagon more easily than you <laughs> yeah. can get into cafe. Yeah, yeah. It is really, really hard. On so, the, on the um, QR codes, um, I had talked with Christy, and we don't really need those on every piece of art. If we put it on the bigger ones, when people scan one to figure out what's going on, they're going to see like the smaller ones if they go to the site and look. Mm -hmm. So our recommendation is to just put the QR codes on the bigger pieces because the you know. Some of the smaller art that we I mean, they're this at, big. They could yeah, be this the big. Yeah, the QR code would overwhelm the piece of art on right. some of the Right. So we're, we have to figure out all of those yeah. logistics, but mm -hmm. it's going to be figured out. Yeah. It's being figured out. Mm -hmm. Great. Cool. So yay for you. Good job, Robin. <laughs> well, thank you for doing all of well, that. Yeah, yeah, I just want to say thanks. I know. We've made a ton of work for you mm -hmm. and the city. But we really appreciate it because it's going to be amazing. It's going to be super fun. It's going to be really fun. I look forward to people like <coughs> crouching in odd <coughs> positions, <coughs> you know, <laughs> over yeah. there. But it was fun. Really yeah, she's video. done a lot. The website, contact 29 artists. Yeah. Contact, contact we, the building we, owner. How many contact artists every is it? Single person in the city. It is, so it's 14 pieces, 14. but two artists have three pieces each. So what mm -hmm. is that? So that's 11. Six, so. No, it's less. Six, less. And then I realized eight, one artist eight, 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 eight. Yeah. Yeah. six. So can you um, say who the two golden artists are at this point? Uh, yes, um, Daniel Morrison and Christina Morrison. No. Okay. <laughs> so Daniel, her husband, has three. Right. <laughs> so and Christina, this is very funny. So Christina is the um, cowboy, the dinosaur wearing cowboy. Mm -hmm. I thought so. So but um, I didn't look. I did ask her like would you'd be okay if your dinosaur was right in front of your horse? Mm -hmm. And she's like, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> so those that's are really great. Cool. And then there's an artist from Boulder and one from Denver and Conifer is another person with three. I just don't have all the names mm -hmm. in that's part great. of me. And I can't that's remember cool. the others mm -hmm. and so forth. But um, so that'll be great. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> awesome. Fun. Yay. Yeah. Did we by any chance get any artists of color? I, you know, I have no idea. Um, I mean, of those people, of uh, the two local and the one in Denver, I, they are white people. Okay. I don't know about the other people. Right. So again, wanted, something I mean, that's, yes, it was anonymized, so, so right. Yeah, you know, that, just, just wondering if it happens. Huh? Yeah. Right. We'll cool. maybe find out. So your next item is the public art framework plan. I think we should invite all the consultants up and let me get another chair. Um, and perhaps you guys can share the two microphones, which, by the way, is again not for amplification, it's for recording. <laughs> will, will, she, will, they be, um, will Emily be doing like a news release about this? We should. I mean, it'd be really, 
I think it'd be something that people from like to get into 5280 magazine or you know some of feeling or Westward I because have a, feeling a news release this we get a lot of press. But I mean uh, you don't just get a lot of press. No, you no, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so if we did it, I think it'd be a great idea on this particular thing to do a news release, give it to the Westward, because I think people will come on this little treasure hunt in Golden. Right. And then stay here. Right. And I know the owner of the Gazette, Wheat Ridge, will support you. Okay. <laughs> I'm writing that down. We got you. Ridge Gazette. You know, we'll get, well, all the summer long, you probably talk, talk to, um, I don't know, um, the, uh, oh my God, why am I spacing on everything this morning? Because I haven't had any coffee. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, like the travel bureau, like the, you know, yeah. the, the, visit, um, Denver. Visit, the DMC, visit Denver. The like Denver things Metro. To do outside of Denver. DMCBB okay. and their web. That, and this yeah, is well, like it's um, I just added that to yeah. the list. I'm ha if Emily wants to brainstorm at all, I'd love. This is fun. This is what I love to do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I've done my whole life. And those are <laughs> better to work. Okay. So the answer is yes. We'll okay. Do a press release. Uh, yeah. A cute little That's thing. Right. And just like, be careful not to trip over our if guests. You're volunteering you, I'm like, volunteering you. Squishing themselves down to yeah. look at tiny little. Very funny things. Mm -hmm. uh, so your next this is one. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, no, you guys. So and fun. then you'll Thank have you videos. Again, You're going to so. have three videos that will get yeah. also be right. promoted by, well, this Golden, the city. You know, they'll be shared. We'll send them out to be shared um, for the Foothills and the Civic Foundation and whoever wants and to share them. So those we think will be ready the second week of June for review. Yes. And then we're hoping to have those done, right? Yeah, I, I assume so. I don't know well. what is turnaround town. I assume it'd be very Pretty, soon yeah. after you guys unless you and Hassan look at them. Yeah. Unless okay. you like hate them. Sounds I good. can't imagine you'll hate them. No. <laughs> okay. So yeah, and then those will be able to Yeah, cool. Be out there as well. Okay. Sounds good. But now you have your consultant, Sorry. so I'll just okay. give a little. <laughs> so um, the framework plan is going well. You have your mission values and goals, and the next thing that you commissioners wanted was a community survey. How, did, have you already sent that to them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Although I forgot mm -hmm. to print my own copy for today, but I even emailed them again last night. Okay. And um, a really, really, really great community engagement event at Summer Jam. Mm -hmm. yes. So, um, so I have some, before you guys give your feedback, for you, here, why don't you start the conversation, Kendall, and when you're ready, I have some feedback on the survey from Christy, who could not be here. Oh, that's great. That's, I, that was, I was just gonna start out by saying the survey, we, we all think it's a tiny bit, tad bit long at this mm -hmm. point. Um, and I, I guess the major question is whether or not you guys want to include those final two questions that are about moving the PAC to more of a cultural commission and, and whether or not that's something, it, it, does that put the cat out of the bag? What, you know, like politically, how does that work? Um, show, so, or should we keep it just solely about public art? Um, so that's, that was our major question to you all. I added and them Steve in. Steve did all that. I mean, he did those interviews. And he's still doing them. Right, because we did ago. an interview with him a couple weeks ago. I mean, he, At the last his input week. would be. Great based on um, what we heard. Basically. So let me give you Christy's feedback was she thought the survey was too long. Yeah. And she thought it should be a little simpler. Mm -hmm. um, that it should maybe five to six questions at most. And she thought it should be very, very concise with um, a few questions. Um, and there was a debate that she was having with herself <laughs> in terms of the question of like, I, again, I forgot to print them to bring it, although I have it on my phone. Um, the question about like, what art do you want to see? Whether there were too many choices or people should just be asked to submit ideas. But I can also say that um, Lisa DeCaro has brought up several times that I'm guessing Lisa might say to have the choices because without people like something to react to, people might say, Yeah, that's why what they that. always I, already see. And I'm in Lisa's camp on mm -hmm. that one. Um, I think the, the main thing is uh, so part of the reason for having a survey is partly educational, too. So if if you just have a knee jerk reaction and you write in whatever you want, then they'll then you'll you'll just get sort of flying answers everywhere mm -hmm. and nothing has any yeah. cohesiveness. The, the reason why I listed all those types of art was because I don't think people think of 
earthworks or mm -hmm. you know light based sound, art or sound art based art. art. Yeah. And so, you know, and, and I think to get a tally of what they really want you need to have a baseline, right? So if everybody wants more sculpture, then great. You, you know that from the tally. Mm -hmm. But if you just get write-ins, it just ends up being like a free-for-all. And I, I would agree with that. And I think every time I participate in a survey, if they're written well, they can be educational. They can That's expound the on what art is so that when you're answering, you give a more intelligent answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, so the questions are very much focused towards the first few are about golden, what makes golden unique, and that helps us kind of in, in the planning um, of this sort of hone our, the, the types of art and, hope, and hone in on what the character of the collection may be in the future. So it kind of helps us create this word cloud. And if everybody thinks that everything needs to be diverse and, you know, then, then we know that we're kind of heading in this direction. So those words help us with that. Um, and then in terms of what makes Golden Unique is how your collection is different from the rest of the world, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not Denver's collection, it's not Boulder's collection. It is very distinctively Golden's collection. So that's um, where we're trying to drive into those words that make people think, um, you know, what is it about Golden that's unique? So Chrissy, um, again, yeah. I'm not just saying, she thought that question was superfluous, but I'm just, I'm just the messenger. Yeah, and we can take those off. That's, that's not a problem. I mean, if, if that's, that's I'm just telling you why they're important to us for yeah. the planning part of it. I like that question. I don't think we need number 16 necessarily. Okay. I, I think that- Which one is can you, do you mind? That's the, um, <laughs> what are some ways you think a new Arts and Culture Commission could best support Golden's Arts and Culture Yeah, so that's I when we start to get gonna be too, too, too drained by the time right. I get to that. And it's and I think she would agree, Christy would agree with whoever, that the those last questions about expanding the mission are not germane right okay. now. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. How are we, I'm, and I apologize if I missed this because I was thinking, mm -hmm. how are you, how are we thinking will administer this survey? That's, I don't know. Okay. I mean, well, it, I have an idea. Yeah. Okay. So um, I, I would recommend that it go out from many sources, but all go to like the in survey monkey where everything mm -hmm. goes to one place. So the city could send it out. Okay. And you have a survey monkey yes. account? Okay. Yeah. So the city could put it in the weekly e newsletter. Mm -hmm. We have that list of, from the engagement event last fall, those 25 yep. people who signed up, we would send it to them. We'll Again, send it in our you email would, newsletter. We'd ask you to share it. We'd ask Foothills yeah. to share it. We'd yeah. ask, like, I don't mm -hmm. know, Parks to share it. We'd, like, just try to get it. And if it were shorter, then it could also be available at Summer Jam. In addition to the engagement, there could be paper copies on a clipboard, Thanks right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We almost, I wonder if we could almost do it on a, I mean, QR code where people just could, could I don't know if that's hard to do it on their phone just real quick. Well, we, or if you want paper copies, I don't know. Uh, whatever you guys thought. Well, paper copy, somebody then has to enter it into, because ultimately we want the electronic version that we can drill down and make our chart right. charts and make, make our comparisons. So paper copies are, um, are great. It just then, I need to sit down and mm -hmm. enter it in and mm -hmm. pretend I'm yeah. person A, person B, whatever. Mm -hmm. you know? So um, I don't know how you guys handle that in, in, when you do surveys. Do, do you often do surveys that have? They have a paper component as well. Um, or like a card or whatever. I mean, sometimes. Uh, we did for Heart of Golden, but Alex with staff definitely put in all of those. Yeah, I mean, I, I know in, uh, when I worked on the project on Colfax, Half of the people, uh, half of them were in different languages because Colfax is our, you know, in Denver is where all the immigrants are residing. So they had to make cards that, very short surveys, cards, but somebody has to enter that in. So it, it's not a, it's not a big hard deal. line either. If, if that's something we think is going to give us a greater, greater reach, that's certainly something we can do. I think also the survey, and I'm curious if Survey Monkey is the preferred kind of platform. I just threw that out there. Yeah. I mean, which the, with most of the West Metro cities pushing towards the Bang and Table platform, mm -hmm. and we've mentioned Guiding Golden in the past, and they have a pretty robust survey I, tool, a couple of different survey tools built into that. 
Um, okay. And I know how to use bang the table, so I could enter it into bang the table. And I think so guiding golden is bang the table. Yeah, sorry. So guiding, sorry, Paul. Yeah, guide, that guiding golden being the execution here. I love the name. I know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let me talk to Alex about that. The answer is sure. Why not? You know. We yeah. can put it. In, yeah. I, I think. Do, does it have the back end that we want? It does. It does yeah. Yeah. A lot. A lot more than. So then, is there a guiding golden link that we share? And of course, I would have it on the guiding on the guiding golden. And direct people to that. So there is there like there is, a link that these guys can share. From there, oh Google. sure, Facebook. You could totally you could link it. And as we're transitioning to a more community. Um, facing part of the engagement process. We've had a lot of individual conversations so far. This, I think, allows us to lean in a bit more to City Resources, which is Guiding Golden at this point. Okay, and yeah. Then do the survey. Yes, of course. Okay, great. Um, because then it allows us to translate a lot of in-person activities, both at Summer Jam or depending on how the physical copy of a survey gets articulated, different variations of that or more catered conversations if, you know, above and beyond community-wide, if they're more specific conversations. Um, I think that gives us a lot more flexibility. Yeah. And we can, you could do even a series of small surveys on Bang the Table, which is, is then you don't have the same um, fatigue. <laughs> but but, but um, the other thing is about Bang the Table, if you wanted to have a, like a whole public art focused section on, on Guiding Gold, and you could um, advertise your, your mini, your little art things and you could have a map of where they are. Well, we have a section on Guiding Golden. I think seven people look at it. Just, okay, so we need to get dry more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, more, but, but uh, more customers. Correct, correct. But I'm just saying you could have a little map. They have a map feature there. Yeah. You could map all the pieces and just say, hey, send us a selfie next to this or something. You know, you could do some engagement on that side too. Um, it's it's a pretty robust platform. Um, I used it down in Colorado Springs for a lot of just targeted surveys, like we had to target all these different uh, groups. So we did like a military-oriented survey. We did a you know arts education-related survey. So so you, if you just keep it fresh, it, you know it keeps people coming back to, to do more surveys. Right, and I mean, certainly I, Heart of Golden has used guiding has used guiding Golden Bang the Table that way because yeah. there's and been multiple surveys. Yeah, yeah totally. I like that idea because if we take those questions off at the end. Yeah. Um, that's something we could bring back at a later date, later and it's a little, maybe a little bit more appropriate. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So that's you know we do, none of those uh, we could just separate it out to the first twelve questions. But at this point, is that it ends with that survey of like what what kind of art do you want to see, and then end it and get get some data and feedback on that, see how it's going, push it out again, maybe and you know we'll see what we're getting back. Um, but yeah, if, if we could push it out via Facebook, you know, all, all sorts of different links, I'll send it to everyone I, in, I know in Golden. Um, you probably know more people than I do. <laughs> but you know, just making sure that it goes to City Council, they send it out via their newsletters, yes. that kind of thing. So, I had similar um, criticisms that Christy had in that I thought it was a little too long. I didn't like number seven, the it question. Um, I think it's number seven. Mm -hmm. What were your thoughts about it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like how you, how uh, a follow-up to six? Yeah, yeah, it's a follow-up to six, but it it's awkward, I think. And I never like addressing an it. So I, I would Oh, so it's a response somehow, to the last one. Have I would somehow change this? that so the it. Well, we can just take it out. That's like, yeah, that's the right. Yeah. yeah. Well, do we want any other thoughts? What? Do that was the have you thoughts? experienced public art in gold? Have you experienced if, and if where yes, did you where? experience it? And then what were your thoughts about? It? Well, yeah, you could rewrite that. Yeah, I can either rewrite it or take it out. Like, I mean, do you want to know? I mean, it's mostly the, yeah, the question like that is, I hate it. You know, and if five people say they hate it or whatever, it gives chances people a chance to vet vent right, about right. it or mm -hmm. um, or, or that I love the stuff in downtown. You don't need mm -hmm. any art anywhere else. That kind of thing. So, um, I think I think it's. Um, I think. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So I had also written down that I thought we should remove question number seven. So okay. I'm agreeing with Let's you. Let's remove here. it. I also agree the survey is too long, and so that gives us an area to make the survey a little shorter. I have 16. Um, I do hear what you're saying, though, about giving them an open-ended 
option to just give feedback. Yeah. I think with the what did you think about it, people are going to say, like, it sucked. And that is not helpful because we don't know what it is that sucked. Mm -hmm. um, but an open-ended question, maybe the last question could just be, do you have other things you, you other would thoughts? like to tell us yeah. about public art and goals? That's okay. exactly what I had in my notes, so thank yeah. you. I sure. thought a last question of just, you know, if you want to then go sure. for it. Because <laughs> it allows us to quantify input ahead of that, right? If right. we're responding to specific specific right. options, and it, then to your point, gives the option. And then I robust. had a few other kind of detail -y things. Oh, that's fine. Go ahead. So question number one, it should be what are, not what is. Okay. Question number three, you've got one option is walking on Clear Creek, and I would change that to recreating on Clear Creek because people fish in Clear Creek, they they intertube in Clear Creek, they walk on Clear Creek, they kayak. I don't, I don't remember exactly how you worded it, and I don't have it here either, but I would change it to some other, like recreate or something similar. Um, number five, um, it says, oh, I wish I had written brought the, the actual survey. Uh, how often do you experience arts and culture institutions and amenities in Golden, such as museums, theater, public art, murals, musical performances, etc.? And the options are daily, weekly, monthly, only occasionally, or never, and then which ones as a follow-up to that as a write-in? Okay. So I, I found it kind of confusing, kind of the word, like I understand you've used the word experience because you're talking about art that sometimes you see, art that sometimes you contribute to art that you like I, I get that but I felt that that question was kind of unclear and that it's going to con potentially confuse people um, so I would I don't know I'm thinking like a rewording of that might be good I don't know exactly how and I wonder if if maybe some of the exact like You've got public art and you've got murals and you've got like got like some public art mentioned specifically and some like maybe just public art and not listing out murals. I don't know. That question I thought could use some reworking. Sure. Um, number six, where you have experienced. Again, I was thinking maybe a different like seen, <coughs> enjoyed, noticed. So you have trouble with the word experienced? I think, the people, I think yeah. people are going to kind of, yeah, have, like, they're not going to get it. And if people don't get it, they either give you not helpful information back or they don't answer the question or, worse of all, they just say, I'm done with this survey and they leave. Sure. Um, okay. And would you say, like, have you enjoyed public art or have you, would you have a word that you... Um, I had Viewed, alternatives with, with seen, enjoyed, noticed. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. and I don't know if those are the best words either, but. Sure. We can, and it may be it's, you know, we, we do a little bit of verb pairing there. So, yeah. experience and viewed or something. Mm -hmm. Experience, more. enjoyed, experience, engaged with. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll figure okay. it, that out. And then number 12, um, I. That's another, I know we've already kind of discussed 12. I feel that people are not going to know what those things are, and that's gonna confuse them, and then we're gonna end up again with issues. So I think either get rid of it or put little pictures next to like, what is earthborn or earth burn art? People, people will not, many people will not know what that is, in my opinion. I mean, there's a lot of things in my life that will I actually love people. this question because it makes people it makes them think, think about it what is it yes. like i don't know, you know about like, it. Like, i agree and like, i'd like the the educational well, maybe component just next of it but like could we do one? like so like functional has like benches I as think an example so maybe just funny. put an example in parentheses yeah. next to it like that in the sequencing on banging the table, and we've done this for you know different projects where we're trying to describe the difference between lower, middle, and higher density housing, when that has a very nebulous term, so right. visual examples leading into the questions. So we can certainly go through kind of an educational step-by-step -step of when we say earth, earthen architecture, earthen art, I, this is what it looks so we I think that would make that, that question that great. great. Well, I don't know if I like that because it, then they think that they're going to get a, a myelin. 
Right, they see yeah. that yes. thing. So we're the, not? The strategy, <laughs> the strategy that we used was pretty much the range of examples. So when we said lower density housing, for example, it was single family ranch homes all the way to. You're, I'm just thinking of so a visual. Yeah. Like, right. I, I, I provide a visual. I, I, I don't think it's want to attach visuals. I, I don't really either. don't. I, I, I think that it, it, it um, limits you right. all in terms and of like, that example, and people will have a knee jerk reaction right. to the well, visual. Temporary art. If you had a piece of, if you had a contemporary right. sculpture, for example, like the Blue Horse, like gonna, or, no, or, <laughs> a, no. a, or a Richard <laughs> Serra, like, you, you right. know, what, what do you choose? And it becomes a an instructional tool rather than a, um, an imagination tool. And I have a different viewpoint of that than like she does. I think <laughs> listing all these things is great. If somebody doesn't know what it is, they weren't going to vote not gonna on pick it. it anyway, yeah. but at least it's there. And if they want to educate themselves and go look it up, yeah, I, think, I, think I think that yeah. um, I, I think if we put a pictures in, it will guide it because housing types is a little different than art. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be like, oh, I, I I've seen that before, and 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 that's what I want. I, I think if you put any one given work of art in there as an example, people will have a knee jerk reaction to it and say, Ugh, I don't I want just, any of that. So, yeah. one more I just want to throw out one comment <laughs> as it relates to that being in the creative industry. Um, we try to be very generic if we have to show visuals because anything I show to a client before I get engaged in an assignment is exactly what they expect mm -hmm. to see. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what's rough about yeah. doing cafe. People are doing juried shows and then they go, oh, I don't like any of that artist's work, but you know, but they can't imagine what that artist might do in your mm -hmm. in your situation. I would prefer to keep it to sort of general. I don't have to put earthworks up there, but I do think that that is something that's feasible in your in your realm. I mean, you right. guys no, have I all these natural I mean, areas, mm -hmm. and you could like do a, some like, like, view, like berming yeah. and right. you know like James Turrellish things, mm -hmm. or I I don't even know. I mean, mm -hmm. there's so many so many ways that that could be. Um, something that is done in in the realm of golden i mean somebody doing like a big old swirl of rocks i don't mm -hmm. i don't even know yeah. is it but, a terrible idea to have like a link like if you're like what's earthworks well you can what we could it, do is have on the side <laughs> a sidebar. I haven't had my rebuttal yet. You, you have your yeah. rebuttal. <laughs> no, but Bang the Table has all these ways that you can engage people. And so what we could have at the bottom is like, if you have questions about any types of artwork, like maybe we, I could craft or you could craft like a little, you know, you know, check out this earthwork or whatever, mm -hmm. and and like it's almost some, like a key at the bottom. It's, it's sort of at the bottom, and and they've already had their kind of say with it. But then, you know, if you're interested in, in learning more about all the different, different types of art. public art, mm -hmm. click here, and then it goes into a different box, and it's an informational box, and it has pictures and all sorts of stuff in it. I don't know. I, I think so. The only thing I would add is that I completely agree that if we said sculpture and just showed Lucifer, they'd be like, "Oh, okay." Don't call him Lucifer. <laughs> Blue horse. <laughs> that would be a bad approach. But the the strategy I was mentioning was actually a minimum of four, usually six photos of a. Hey, this is a range of things that could be considered earth art or sculpture or right. light, right. and it's everything in between um, the the blue bear. Uh, down to a bronze sculpture, right? When we're talking about sculpture, we're talking about built kind of large yes. objects, and it's we show intentionally a range so that mm -hmm. if someone hates one, they say, okay, well, that's just in general. We're talking about things that are built, not things that are painted. We're, we're showing that range. So we don't have to. I but think that way. makes the survey longer again, mm -hmm. and it okay. goes that's in fair. A There's a lot of education. Christy and I probably wouldn't like. I do like the key though, the, 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 the factual thing at the bottom somewhere. So if somebody doesn't understand earthworks, yeah. um, they can go down and um, read about it. And if you want to link in there so they can go do their own research, um, yeah. I'm completely fine with that. I will concede. <laughs> no <one. laughs> go ahead. So I, I agree. Um, I guess what I would ask is, especially if it's an online survey, instead of putting it at the bottom, can we just put it in the introduction? Make, 
Um, in yes, the introduction I'm or in the question. Like, sure. click here for example. Wait, who reads or, introductions to surveys? Nobody. Anybody? Anyone? I mean, the people who take surveys, <laughs> they're <laughs> like, do, do, like, it's got to be fast like, wait, and quick and easy right, right. And, yeah. and fun to some extent. So I think like a link could add some fun to those people who want to click on it. I think it. if I you think put it in the question, 98% of the people are going to not click. But the few percentage of people that want to be educated and want to know are going to do it. But and they're that's not going to click I back really is my only problem. That's, that's my only issue yeah. is that so that's why you put it at the end. Because so they'll leave. They'll leave well, exit. Because they'll the exit and never finish the survey. I, really I really don't, don't, I really don't think end. we need it in here. I think that it's, it's meant to be a quick survey to get people to respond and it it so plants things in their head that I don't know that we want. That's, that's an important I, 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 um, From y'all's perspective, it's intended to be a quick hit, small contained survey. And if that's the yeah. case, then if we want people to do it, it and engage with it, I, yeah, I just think. Okay. Yeah. The I'm going to shift over to, to Julie's court. <laughs> so the so the the purpose of this survey is for us to get just a few quick mm -hmm. um, statistics. So, you know, what we want to say is 97% of the people surveyed want to have public art, then they believe it's a good, good, mm -hmm. you know, expenditure of city funds. Yes. Basically, that's that's it, you know, and, and that's where we want to And is to there go. any area here that just pops? Yeah, like, and is there an like, area that, I want to do kinetic, you know, like yeah. I want to do something at the wind. And it's a pie right chart here. that says we want to put art in different places other than downtown, mm -hmm. right? But that's that's what it is. It's, it's um, the types of art that people want. It's, it's literally... What we're trying to do is educate about all the different types of art that are feasible because you don't have a whole lot of diversity in terms of the types of art in your collection. So it's sort of like getting people to think bigger. Totally. Yeah. Then for the Summer Jam event, we can have very large prints of collages of different types of art, totally. sticky exercises. Yeah. That would be wonderful. Yeah. All right. Like people would love that. I'll get my collage. Yeah. You're getting, you're getting your that's idea. Totally, yeah. That's also a very fast survey type too, where people are just like, yeah, like this, like totally. this, like this, yep, yep. hate that. Like we did at Autumn you know, Fest. Like, that. like people yeah. enjoy it. But even bigger and better. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sweet. We're thinking bigger and better. Okay. Okay. So I have I have a really good sense of where so we're going. Eleven. Does anyone feel like they need that? Which was 11? It's how would you rate public art in Golden versus the art in other cities you have visited? Yeah, like, I don't do really, we, I don't, we don't need that. Do you, do you, do you want to know? I don't okay. want it. 11, delete. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was too easy. <laughs> do you, what about number nine? Which is, oh, do I you think public art. I think we need that one community. just to. Oh, that's a great. That 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 one we is is we a percentage. That. Yeah, that's that one. We say ninety-seven percent right. said uh, public art adds value. That's that's good for our plan. Mm -hmm. If they say that. If they will. Well, hopefully, yeah. They will. Right. If they don't, then. If they don't, know. it's yeah, going to be don't, a, it's it's don't don't something. Okay. Okay. Traditionally, it's it's sort of a leading question. Sadly, it, it's like, do you think it adds value? Uh, you know. It, it is a bit leading, but it, if they say no and we say why not, like, I don't, you know, the, usually the why not is I don't think that this, you know, I don't think we should be in the business of putting art spending out in the public, money. right? Spending yeah, money. Yeah, usually on it. That, the it, that's no usually the answer. The money. <laughs> it's about the money. Yeah. It's not about the art. It's, yeah, it's, right. It's um, so that that is just a helpful question for us to be able to sort of say to city council. We heard right. loud and clear people that people art. value art in your in your uh, community. Do we need three? When you have visitors, where do you take them? I mean, do we? That's about the tourism piece, and where do you take them? Where do you recommend to go? I guess there, you know, if there's only. Um, If, if I Emma, mean, we can delete it if you don't. I think it's pretty think fast. It's like you, I don't know. You know it's interesting it's like data. It's what you're proud of. It's right. It, it is about you, the, right. The, right. If they can just click those. Yeah. Yeah. If you can click mm -hmm. on them, they're, it's fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Better than writing. Things like that bog me down when I take. I'm like, oh, and then I start thinking about people visiting me and where I want to go, <laughs> and then I'm like, oh wait, I have to go do something, and then I stop taking a survey. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, if everybody else likes it, that's fine. We can make sure that skip logic's not tied to it, so you don't have to, you don't have to answer that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. All of them, you can just delete. You, you can skip to the next one. That's not our. Uh, 
our goal is to get as many answers as we can. On yeah, all that's, each, that's, each one that's a good point. Usually, if there's a question that doesn't pertain to me, mm -hmm. but I can't move on because yeah. I have to answer it, I'll exit the survey immediately, yeah. which is totally... <laughs> yeah. So we're deleting yeah. 11, and what what was 9? That was the... Um, I actually had that as 8 on I think we yes we're leaving nine because it's do you do you think public art adds to value? Yeah, okay. Or do you yes. Just I had not written yeah. down. I will rewrite uh, this and I will send it back to you, Robin, and um, you can uh, send it out and just see if it if it flows a little better and is shorter and um, we won't. So when are we trying to, to have this input from this survey? When is your when do you would when ultimate would you like it? ultimately uh, we'll post it as soon as we can so it's available right away and then it's available at the summer jam and um, maybe even past that a little bit so, so you, we'll I, I think have... it should be a bit available at least through the end of Arts Week when people... That's what I was uh, thinking. That's, when yeah. is Arts Week? That's like first week of July, July 7th yeah. through the following eight days. There's no reason not to keep Leap. it up uh, And I want to, like, remind time. people, like, give yeah. them, put it in the, you know... Yeah. And then a few weeks later, like, hey, it's still open for those yeah. of you who yep. still would like to. So I would say... The a month. The know, fifth, like saying, July 5th through July 15th. Yes, yeah, whatever that Sunday is, the end of the. So that's the 10th? Is that the end of Arts uh, Week? No, it's. Um, well, the Arts Week. The um, Arts Week is. is no, that's not the 14th. 14th. They start the 7th and the. And the and it goes through on the 17th. Okay, okay, so maybe we have it through the 18th. Yes. Okay. At least through the 18th. Kendall, so we're thinking through the 18th. Through the 18th of July. Through my birthday. Ah, my too. Yes! Answers. <laughs> now I know we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and the 18th is the last day of Arts Week, or is that the week following the last day of Arts Week? It's Sunday the, the 17th. Yes. It's like the day after. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that works. Okay. Right, so there's arts activities starting the 7th, and then the... And the gala is on the 15th, which is the And then the actual like, mm -hmm. jury art sale and show is the, what? Can we have 17. somebody there with a Wi-Fi connection at the gala or anything like that and pass it around? Or, like a, like or iPads have, or something? Or, or have uh, the survey, hard copies of the survey at the gala so that people can fill them out and I collect them or something like that at, afterwards? Do you get a free drink if you fill yes. the survey? Um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You get free drinks anyway. Thanks, yeah, I'll have to talk to our development director because okay. it, it, it's a pretty packed program. Yeah, sure. Um, but even just something that's I there on their I wonder why plate. we couldn't do something like that at the actual Arts Week event. Mm -hmm. Um, of course. Where, the, where people are walking around viewing all the art, so it seems want, like that might be a we better We need to have something there. And that that'll be, be visitors and locals. Great. Yeah. It seems like we might do exactly the same thing we do at Golden Jam. Summer Jam. Summer, Summer Jam. Mm -hmm. At the Arts Week Festival. Yeah, I mean, that makes, I think that um, makes more sense. Okay. Um, I well, just let think me know. we'll get a lot more of a response from a wider audience of the community sure. if it's during the actual artist yeah, show. Would you let us know? Let me yes. Know. I'll just tell Hassan that's what mm -hmm. we're doing since he's not here to there represent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Get to all and told, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, well, okay, so we've got the survey You could set. do it, sorry, while they're waiting. Put it on QR codes at the bar while people are waiting in line at the bar to get their drinks. Like, just tag we, them. We could, do, we could do a QR code mm -hmm. at the bar for yeah. sure. Yeah, because people are waiting in line. They're chatting or whatever. I mean, that might happen. So, sorry, just trying to think no, of no, where no. I, I, Yeah, however you can get it out. I mean, mm -hmm. and, and I was asking you guys what, what what's our goal in terms of the number of people to... Yeah, and I'm, I would look back at the Heart of Gold kind of data to see how many folks we got engaging on that, but I think doing like it's not going to be as much. We got to 100. Oh really? Because then you have kids. 
and adults. I got 500 in Colorado Springs. Yeah. Yeah. Kayla, I got 500 the adults you have downtown. Just people with money who don't yeah. necessarily <laughs> represent. Yeah. I think it just depends on how how, rec, how much we shoot them <laughs> and how often. Yeah, like I'll send it out to all the downtown yeah. business owners. Yeah. yeah. Well, 100 is our goal. That's what I'm at. I'm just telling them we need a small yeah. place for them. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and of course, would you please share with your friends? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'll share with everybody I know, and and just in city council, you know, just just make sure there's a link that they can send out to anybody and not everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah, and the major I'll... thing also is we don't. I mean, the one thing about doing it at the Arts Week, you're going to have, a, you know, the, everybody there is pro arts, right? So we want to make sure that we're also getting of people that are non-arts lovers. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why Summer Jam is probably an even better place for us to, to do surveys because we want to make sure that statistically we're getting a, a good, mm -hmm. we're not just hitting the, the bubble of people who are arts lovers. Do most city councilors, like I, I'm, Bill Fisher is mine, a city councilor, and he always, he does a monthly news email. You do know, most I, city councilors do that? I don't know, actually. Okay. I don't know. I can see more of I don't get one from okay. mine, so I don't I'm going to say no. Bill is on the phone. Yeah, well, I was going to say maybe you and I are signed up with ours, but I never got one. They don't do it or not. I'm going to talk about how best to engage with the people as well as she's also the PIO. I'm happy to set up something with her, too, if you want to just have a chat with her, because I don't know if they'll let us go have the back end of anything, but I'm happy to. Yeah. Yeah. Do it for her if she. I have to defer to Mark, and then like I don't know. Do you guys know the back of that? Every city is different. Sit on the edge of the chair. So does Alex do it? It's like a paper extension. It was a combination of a few individuals. Yeah, we provide all the guidance and content. Okay, I need to stop this up. Okay, I I do have access to gut the back end of Guiding Gold, and I almost never used it. Okay. Because I don't have too much on it. Well, we'll work together okay. on, on we'll getting get that out. to with them, and then and then as soon as we have a link on that, well, first we get it approved by you guys, and then, yeah, uh, basically we'll send it out, and we'll just need to for you to do a little thumbs up on whether or not we're yep. moving ahead. So. Or a big thumbs up. Anyway. Or, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. little thumbs up. Yeah, I can ones. certainly get it out to my network. We'll send it out to our three A lot of artists, our, great everybody. And, yeah. and they're pretty yeah. engaged. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so let's talk about Summer Jam. Mm -hmm. We did, um, we heard loud and clear that we wanted to have some really fun and engaging activities. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I know we're going to have to compete with some music and some stuff. So. You know, where, where the booth is, it's... It's um, not really loud, but it's background. Okay. So you'll be, and you're right by the. Um, Don't say the bathrooms. No. Is it by the bar? <laughs> no, nope. you're the by Bob's Atomic Burgers. But you're actually where everyone comes in and out of the um, beer garden to go to the depot and do the train ride. So everybody okay. is going in and out, and we have to. We have a, a beer monitor tent for lack of better description to make sure people don't take their beer their alcohol out of oh so they only drink in the beer garden yes okay. and so you're in a great location there's going to be a lot of traffic um in and out and um it's not too loud at all like okay no, there, I, there's music but it's just not know that we're not the main event so no. <laughs> we yeah. have to kind of compete True. with that <laughs> on the setup side out of curiosity it's a, it's a 10 by 10 mm -hmm. is it a stack 10 by 10 where you have every booth next to each other is there more room no to... it's not a well there, i mean i could arrange for you to have a little room by you if, if we need okay. if you want to do an art activity or something right well, yeah. um <laughs> <laughs> like we did like the um neighborhood rehab project last year did they're all about, you know, that's their building things. They had a kids project and it was a giant jingle with lumber. Yeah. Like, and the kids were building and they loved it. Um, yeah, that's kind of. that kind of. Or well, we've had we were talking face possibly art, about but. paint filled balloons and Jackson Pollock esque, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> well, if you need some space, <laughs> let me know. Like, just let me know because I'll just make sure that you have like another eight feet by you or whatever. Okay. Because I literally go and paint your the spots Square, yeah, for sure. the tents, okay. um, the booths. And um, 
yeah, so that'd be awesome. I love that. And wearing casual clothes that day. <laughs> I was so, gonna say, so if you get an Hondo. art hater, you might get the balloon. Yeah. Right. Did you see the layout of the, the no. venue? Okay. No, it, it would be great to get that yeah. from you. Okay. I'll wear my painting wingtips to different pair. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to wear your Crocs yeah, <laughs> with socks. Um, so do you guys wanna, do the pitch of the of the different things. So we we had a little charrette meeting with us, a brainstorm meeting, and Finley. I have we haven't introduced Finley yet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Finley. Um, I'm just been helping um, Mark and Kendall with this project. I'm a project associate at MIG. So. She's new and she's Gen Z. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. Let's see. Just turned 26. Yeah. <laughs> no, but so so I think we were we were really interested. I thank you for bringing Finley in because we got some really interesting ideas from her, and you know we've kind of been brainstorming. So that we have a little sheet of sort of pitch pitches to you guys, and I think what we want to do is focus on maybe two or three different events that we can have there. Depend, all of them have different costs and different ease of, of implementation. So, um, so they they go under two one. different um, mm -hmm. two different categories. Ideas to get people into the booth. Oh, wait, sorry. So That's I might it. move you. I might move us depending on what we're doing. Oh, That's okay. what it is right now. And oh, okay. Pack is right by the. Sorry. <laughs> so, pack in, the booth right now is right here. Okay. Um, the PAC. I. I think it would be better if I just turned myself and passed out. <laughs> you can go over. There's a there's more space mm. potentially here. Uh huh. And I could yeah. put Yo Colorado yeah. there. Yeah. And, it's um, like the back side of my knee. It's almost like if you need. Okay. But then, <laughs> we're, then we're near the potties. Yeah. You know, actually, you think you're near the potty, you're not. Oh, okay. they're, they're really they're far up back. back. Between the trains, okay. Just and in case you need to wash your hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are wash stations. Well, let's, there are sinks right up there. I was um, wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's let's go okay. through the. Let's go through the list, and then we can figure it out. That's good to. That's good to know. Okay. Yeah. As, as, as well, I, I'll, I'll kind of break down the categories and the intent behind them, and then I'll actually hand over to Finn to kind of go through the different ideas. But really, kind of three approaches to the event. One is to get folks to the booth. There's obviously positioning in the setup, but there's also the idea of attracting and, and retaining. There's the need for the quantitative input, so that's the live version of the survey, whether it's taking folks digitally back to a website or having live activities, which I think we agree are important. And then the last piece of it, there's just a few ideas around, we're capturing folks at a great event for you know a two hour window in the evening in June. How do we take some of the in-person excitement? For our, for our event. For our, <laughs> for our event in, in June to make sure that we extend, <laughs> extend that, right? So there's other, and whether it's the, the QR codes tied to larger art that's part of the itty bitty art committee, and there are other things that tie folks back to the website. There are just a few ideas around how we extend the in-person side of it moving forward. So get folks to the booth, get quantitative data at the booth, and then extending the in-person kind of aspect of engagement moving forward. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so just to make our booth um, like super engaging and fun that people want to come up, because obviously there's some other good engaging ones, um, we wanted to make like a really eye-catching booth, so like make the booth itself like a piece of public art, um, mm -hmm. something that people like will collide with other people about and like talk about, um, want to ask questions. Um, Another one would be creating photo opportunities. Um, so, mm -hmm. with separate from like using your phone, maybe creating like a booth situation where like you could print out a Polaroid, you could write a little thing on a Polaroid. Um, you could either take it with you because people love that, or you could tack it up somewhere on the booth. Um, and yeah. yeah, another one we were talking about was engaging with paint. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, like some things with that would be like throwing a dart at like a paint filled balloon on like a big board and it creates this like beautiful colorful Jackson Pollock type thing. It could be like a multi-generational thing um, for people to engage with. We also, t we also talked about how somehow like incorporating paint throwing with like cornhole like <laughs> somehow merging those two games because it's sort of like a best carnival vibe. Um, but yeah moving on from that we had um, Kendall's great idea of doing like a, a Mad Lib and maybe like a large format Mad Lib. So creating this big narrative, maybe about Golden itself, and then having people 
fill in specific words and that's a good way to get um, feedback about you know what they think what they love about where they live um, we had an idea of um, another collective large artwork piece would be um, everyone could like who comes up to the booth could paint or design their own little tile and then they would all make one big artwork um, and then we also wanted to spray paint or chalk um, hopscotch on the ground in front of the booth um, yes <laughs> and then so as you were talking I actually thought about the eye-catching booth we could we could make the um, the art activity part of the decoration too. Mm -hmm. So um, for my wedding, we stupidly made tissue paper flowers instead of having real flowers because mm -hmm. I was like no cut flowers and and um, and you just buy tons and tons of tissue paper mm -hmm. in different colors and you basically fold it and you cut it and then you have the little green tape and then and then you could put it up around mm -hmm. the booth like a kind of like Frida Kahlo esque totally. mm -hmm. and then you could have some people make them and then they can take them away too so that could be mm -hmm. like a really easy way kids could do it mm -hmm. and you know could just have people showing um, you know how to do it and, and, and a big really part easy. of these first kind of listed activities here are getting folks to the booth and staying there right there might be individuals who'd be willing to just engage on the sticky exercise but you're capturing larger groups, especially multi-generational groups, having an activity either for the kids or adults or what have you, just so you can sustain for a longer period of time to have those conversations. So these parts here, again, to summarize, is all about getting folks to there and excited about having a, a conversation. So once they're there, Mark, what is the conversation? How do you get input from them? So that's the, that's the next section that we're going to yeah, have. have been to, uh, before we go on to that, we can break down, have conversations about any of the activities in each one. Any of that jump out? I was like, yeah, that's cool. Or no. Or don't. As the uh -huh. non-adult at the table, I like the paint splattering. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean, that's my favorite. <laughs> and it's different. Like, And the cornhole, I don't. Thing. So you think having it uh, against a wall and, yeah. and people can, mm -hmm. is there a fence behind it? Could we engage a fence or any kind of? Um... Have to put up some kind of a structure to hold it, right? You don't want a dart going past. Yeah. 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 Well, and maybe we, there's a way that we could right. make it not darts because that just, right. yeah. we'll, we'll have to think on that. Mm -hmm. but, but darts makes me nervous. The darts yeah. makes me a little nervous kids, too. Yeah, scary. And people, um, but, um, but I do love the idea because I think it's eye-catching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. fun okay. and interactive and it's fast. Having worked in a lot of booths at the library, I can tell you like an activity that takes more than 30 <laughs> seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Either it takes too long and you're going to have people gone, like waiting in line and then they're going to be like, I'm leaving or they're just yeah. not going to do it because they want to get to the beer or whatever else is on okay. their agenda. Mm -hmm. So I love that it's fast. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's I catch. And if it's so, I can I so again the logistics, whatever. Um, I think it would be fun to have a dart thing, except I really scared about darts. And then, but then I also worry if it's something where people have to go up really close, then people get splattered and they weren't intended well, to we be. Well, we can have tie back suits there that people. That's actually part of the. That was part of the uh, spectacle. Was what I was. Or like a poncho could have, be a poncho. That you could have a rain poncho. We could yeah. do you know. So there's those painter suits that that you wear yeah. when you're cleaning up your garage and stuff. Mm -hmm. Or you know, we can have a number of different things, and that's part of the spectacle too, right? True. So people see somebody putting True. on a, a poncho and and got get some goggles or whatever. I love it that that. I mean, I, I'm almost thinking that that is a ten by ten square of whatever it is cardboard okay. you know like a wall and then that is actually your photo drop your backdrop for for um selfies and whatever is and it's also the piece of art that people are making creating mm -hmm. is there um and so i could give you that whole space next to sorry to the like you have your booth for engaging and making the tissue oh, flowers you could give us another booth yeah and not necessarily a booth but the whole the 10 whole by 10 space. space yeah oh that would be awesome mm -hmm. yeah i would love that okay but sorry. And I like the tissue flowers as well, because I think people would come in and the kids would love to do that. It's also a little multicultural, and, and yeah. I, I think that you'll have people taking stuff away and mm -hmm. putting it behind Absolutely. their ear and stuff. Yeah. So, and um, some people will leave them and decorate the booth with it. Yeah, yeah. And them. we could be making them as we're yeah. there, too. Like, I, you know, I, I enjoyed making right. thousands of them for my wedding. And it makes you, and it, it makes you less intimidating if you're doing something. People will come in to see what you're doing and want 
to, yeah. and you're not yeah. going to just grab them and talk to them. No. Just no. I thought she was normal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. No. What were you? We've, we've discovered that we are the least normal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. I like the Mad Libs, too, because it's like three different things. So for people who are blind, yeah, or yeah. like having three totally different activities. And good the Mad Libs can have some of the questions, can kind of tease some of the questions from the survey. That's that's what fun, what's fun about the Mad Libs is they, and you can take it with you. And on the back side of the Mad Libs, you can have a link to the survey or, or the QR code. Yeah, that's what I don't I think the Mad around. Libs might be a great, because yeah. you were trying to do three things, get them mm -hmm. in, educate yeah. them, and then like some follow-up. I think the Mad Libs is a great follow-up because it's fun. They'll take it home, they'll do it, and then they'll see the, okay. the link. So, and the Lib itself is kind of educational. In the past, I've had um, Golden High School art students um, from the AP Honors mm -hmm. class come in and decorate our dance floor with chalk mm -hmm. art. Um, and that was, f I mean, there's an opportunity in our, in the pavilion, there's this, it's all this huge concrete floor. That would be amazing if you could I mean, do a live chalk art drawing. Yeah. That, we didn't I, did, I did it before, that, it, uh, I did it before the event so that, um, because people want to dance. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, it's, that's anyway, a whole other. Anyway, yeah. I was what just I was thinking. about the paint splatter thing, though, was, like, if there's any way of having, like, a secret message. So, like, if, like, as the paint is getting splattered, it's just more and more paint. But if, like, there was a way of, I don't know. Put like, some tape on it. And then you pull like the tape off. That, and it yeah, or, like, if it, there's something where the paint doesn't stick. And so, like, as more paint is accumulating, there's, like, a... Like oh. public art commission, or like some other like cool, like you, fun secret message like that <laughs> appears as color with crayon on your Easter egg. Yes, and you exactly. dye it, and the yeah, message yeah. is unveiled. We can, we can. The problem is, you, the problem is doing the big reveal, like um, it might be a slow, gradual. Reveal. Right, yeah, exactly. Because yeah. yeah. well, because it's not like That's I don't know. Like unless you take the too. piece, the ten by ten, happen. carry it over to the stage, and Lynn Mateo, who is our Lisa's husband, actually, he's our MC for this event. Okay. He's a great total ham, like mm -hmm. you know, he could talk about. I mean, I don't know if we do the reveal there. In, well, well, we can talk. We have about 25 all minutes that. between bands, so yeah. we could do it between the second and third band. Yeah, we'll have um, to talk about the run of show yeah. and what, like, what, how many mentions we get about the. You know, we'll, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll definitely talk through that as we get closer to the event. So, but also then, also just say and see the finished piece at yeah. City yeah. Hall or the community center in that sense. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we have to you know, based on these this interest we'll have to go back, suss it out, budget it and all that kind of stuff too, because I don't yeah. know that we ever asked what our we, what our Lumber budget. budget. <laughs> Lumber budget and all that kind of stuff. Like I don't I don't know that the public art um, the uh, the PAFP budget is that big. But we so. probably have some money in the regular budget too. Okay. Yeah. So we got yeah. all of your money is committed for this. Mm -hmm. So we'll just have to we'll do I love some, the idea. So and the cool. and the splatter paint. I mean that'll be people will love that. Good. 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 Colorful and yeah. Awesome. So be happy. me too. Go ahead with the <laughs> engagement cuz cuz you might like something better. You just also than, want to keep an eye on time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll go quick. So these are a lot more like the Mad Lib type things where you're getting more in like actual feedback um we thought of having like a large colorful and visually appealing map of golden and give people the opportunity to like place a colorful like tack or sticker um onto places that they most visit or like are most loved or most proud of um another similar thing was taking question two of the survey which was what i believe what makes golden unique or something along those lines um and have the answers on a board with Mark's very talented cartoon t skills, um, and people are able to put stickers on the board for their answers. Um, so if if something was like, you know, someone's favorite thing about Golden was School of Mines, they would put their sticker under the School of Mines cartoon, um, or making an entire board of one single repeated question. So. Um, it would just say like, I love Golden's unique and then blank and people could write in literally anything they wanted and see everyone else's answers as well. Um, 
Another one would be to test people's knowledge of existing public art or landmarks by providing like a very close up or textured image um, and try to guess what it is. And this would involve a prize and it would sort of indicate what existing pieces stand out to people. And then finally, um, we've talked about the survey a bunch, but providing iPads um, instead of like paper surveys um, in exchange for a small prize, such as like a local gift card um, or a, a larger Donuts. raffle. Donuts. <laughs> yeah. When you saddle coffee. Yeah. Are there leftover guiding golden mugs? Last time I last time you did the guiding golden thing, yeah. they had like you mean a heart, huge of gold. heart of gold. Yeah. I'll right. have to ask. There was I mean, we can buy the like, Take can these away. Just yeah. get Maybe some missing golden merch. Yeah. We could find yeah. merch. Mm -hmm. Okay. There. Yeah. There. Oh, just, yeah. So those there, getting to more like quantified, being able to track uh, input on those, any of those. Uh, this is again, you know, building up on the survey. Are there other kind of data points we want to track? Or any of those kind of jumping out that y'all? How do you get at the what's what's missing that you want to see? I would love to see kind of the conversation about the survey like what is earth art like are they gonna, yeah we could do like that. i would love to see that poster like like what is it mm -hmm. and five examples mm -hmm. of everything of each of those sure and then just put yeah. what do you like and let them mm -hmm. and yeah, then if we have like idea. and is that where they like put earth stickies on it or art yeah. In yeah. yeah and you know like it would give us and an idea of type of art and it. also examples of art so yeah. i guess it's a what what don't we have you get three stickers put your three stickers three of those little rounds Circle. Yeah. We had ones that we printed out for Heart of Gold that had the different emojis of like super happy, like not yeah. content, and then like the I very disgruntled face. <laughs> we could yeah. give those same ones that, again. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, we did have the, the poop emoji that we took away. <laughs> yeah, too much. Emoji. But, but <laughs> can I have a recommendation? Instead of building on, building on yes. what you guys did <laughs> last year's autumn test, like what's your favorite, would it be useful to see what don't we have and might, might mm -hmm. like? Right. Which is, what would you yeah. like more of? Or not what more, you like, what, yeah. or what not necessarily like? what you like more of. Not more of. What, what would you, you like? What else do you yeah, want? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's like here are all the forms of art. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? What do right. you like? And we could even still do a large like box with a question mark in there, and someone's like, "Oh no, this is art for me," and they could do a sticky note right in, like yeah, oh, we can have right a right chunk of it. Mm -hmm. sure. um, right. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to just I, I like that. I like, um, try to get people to, in in addition to uh, looking forward and building here's, our collection, what, what do you pray? Right. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, because it's education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I still yeah. go back to, I think everything that we're doing needs an educational component to it because mm -hmm. otherwise we're not expanding people's mind to understand mm -hmm. what art really is. Well, that, and that's why I would say not what do you want more of. No, no, say, what, what do you else want? Do you what want? Right, what, what do you want beyond what we currently have? Exactly. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, However you craftfully word that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do, what, what we have and what, what do you want, what do you want beyond Beyond this? what we currently have, yeah. We have bronze. What else would you like? Some murals. Bronze cover. Really cool hummingbird made out of carpet. Yeah. So. Yes. Bronze. We do space. have that, and have everybody space. loves that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the number one pick yeah. thing. Um, well, and the biker. And we had some stuff that we initially started prepping for some winter engagement that we ended up not not pursuing, but like coloring sheets that we can have ready for kiddos as yeah. well. Yeah. I think the biggest issue that y'all are going to have is that all the other booths are going to seem so dull by comparison. Yeah. Yeah. Just I don't think you need the coloring sheet to. If you got the tissue paper and the paint, I, I just well, do you still have those little handbooks that we made last year? We have a few, and I, I don't have enough to uh, make it. Okay. I'd have to reprint. That's cool that they got distributed. It would be really super fun to promote the Itty Bitty Art Project. Yeah, I, um, I think yeah. that we need to, to do something on that. So Somehow. Maybe right. you could have... <laughs> and the videos. Robin's Are like, you nervous? She's, she's like freaking out. Well, I mean, well, I don't know that it's I, coming I, up I so quickly, I don't know how we would promote it at what that. What about Arts Week? When you could promote it at Arts Week? Yeah. We'll I guess we don't, need, we don't worry we about it yet at Summer videos? Jam. Too early, Robin. Yeah. Um, I, it all depends if they'll be ready. I, 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 can we say, it's okay. let's see. I don't think we need to promote it. There's so much else. What about your videos that you're working on? Is there a place to but, feature those? I don't know if... 
that'll be done. Yeah, it's I don't. I don't. Well, yeah. if there are any well, pictures of yeah, the existing works of it, the itty bitty. Right, we can add that to the little. You know, I mean, there could be there. something like here's what's coming. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. That'd be cool, but I mean, you know, here's what's coming. Wanna, or it could be the QR code about the map or something. Just the map on the back of a map lab or something like that. So yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I've heard paint something involving paint. Mm -hmm. And we could have the 10, 10 foot mm -hmm. area. Space. So it may be something, maybe we just put it on the ground and we have people throwing things at the ground. I, I don't know, we'll have to. Mm -hmm. we'll have I, love, to I do love up. having a big wall because I yeah. love having, people love photo ops at our stuff. Um, yeah, they love. Exactly. Stuff. And if um, we had it kind of as a, I don't know, some sort of backdrop, it, it could just be MDF and, and whatever. With yeah. You know what you could do? So do you know our, our logo for Summer Jam? Have you seen it? No. Um, so you could do, sorry, I'll be fast. Um, where is it? Here it is. <laughs> so we could do, come on, here we go. Here's the logo. You could do a taped outline and have people fill the jam jar with different colored paints, uh -huh. like, I don't know, and then... And we could also have paint brushes, too, so that you don't necessarily have to do the paint-filled balloons and whatever. But I love that the paint-filled balloons. Yeah. That could yeah. be yeah. the reveal. Just in, in tape addition. off yeah. the jar. That's the reveal. Just tape off the jar and let people, like, just uh, throw just paint at the wall. So it becomes a settlement of... And then, and then take the... And then take it off, and it's yeah. the jam yeah. jar. That would be cool. Yeah. Ooh. That could be and fun. that'd be a neat photo could do that. It'd be nice to have that done. A simple yes within the That's like what I'm so that people can enjoy it. It gets dark around between the second and third band, so you'd want it like yeah, so people can yeah. Anyway, so sorry. Cool. That'd, um, be, that'd be cool. Yeah. Awesome jam jar. Yeah, you can draw that. I can draw jam. I'll send you this. <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard paint, something involving paint, splatter paint, S splatter paint. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard uh, that we want to do something with the flowers that to, to, mm -hmm. to decorate the the whole thing, and that would be sort of out in front, and people can actually even sit down and do it um, as they would. And we'll have some decorations already up and we'll just have all the stuff to be able to make that. And then I heard you guys like the Mad Libs and those are really easy. We could do a number of different ones and have different QR codes on the back. That's super easy. We'll just have crayons to do that. Um, and then some- I have boxes of crayons. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Last fall. Don't buy any. Okay. And then as in terms of posters, then we're thinking a poster that has sort of we'll we'll craft something that's like this is this is what we have and, and then a sort of an example of maybe what what could be done, like what's possible, what's feasible mm -hmm. and what 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 what, what cool. what's the future of Golden's public art program? Big. And a big one, so people can put stickers and talk about it and write things in and that kind of thing. Does that sound mm -hmm. good? Do we want to have any other things there to give away, like the brochure? Yeah. Like um, the, the answer is no. I, people I, don't really carry stuff around much at this. Okay. And I have they're they have a beer and, and they have, have, have food. Enough. And I, so people aren't going to take away much. So if we if we're doing these, they might take a flower, but right, yeah. I'm saying yeah. flower their hair. Yeah, like but I don't yeah. think yeah. they're going to. If we're doing this, then we don't made. need it to have any prizes or anything like that, right? We're not doing any. Yeah, probably. I mean, they won't mind prizes, but not like a gift card. But but if we don't. Well, it's if, not we necessary, the, if, if we have the if we have the surveys there, we need prizes. Yeah. If it is, I think it just needs to be like pocketable. Um, so right. Like, it goes down to like a small. Like a sticker. Yeah. yeah. Like a gift card. <laughs> like a gift card or something. Uh, All right. Come back, Come back to me. Okay. So we'll put Come all this together in, a, in an outline and we'll do some more thinking on exactly what it's going to entail work wise. Now, we. we also, were, budget. Just budget. So just so I could yeah. see mm -hmm. where we pay yep. for it from. Um, I. Uh, I heard that we have plenty of volunteers, right? Well, we have some. So um, I can, I will be there. Steve will be there. How many people can we have? Five. Can so it be the five change over time, or is it the mm -hmm. five? So yeah. I, I will be there. Steve will be. Steve will be there. Christy said she could be there and would want to be there. And I'm probably going to come with my family. Or, you know, at least bring a, a mm -hmm. kid or two. But that means. Staying there all four hours may not be feasible for me, but you know, we'll 
we, we can probably trade off between all yeah. of us, right? Yeah, certainly. I'll, I'll be at the beer tent pushing people over the <laughs> With flowers in his hair. He's going to have a little uh, Frida Kahlo flower. If I move you, you'll be by the margarita tent. So oh, I'm I'm the <laughs> Okay, so, so yeah, as long as we can um, have, I'll put together like a little slot or, or maybe we can work with you to figure out what slots are where. And Does anyone else want to volunteer? So I would volunteer, but I also want to attend. So if we could do like two hour shifts. So yeah. that I could spend two hours working and two hours. Have do tickets gone on sale yet? They go on sale Monday morning at nine. Yeah, so and do we need to? And they're gone by nine. Monday morning at ten. Yeah. <laughs> do we need to? Do we need to buy tickets for this? Or are we? Automated? For your? I mean, no. I, it's, I, I, it is. I, I mean, it's. I. Tr it's uh, very competitive. So <laughs> I don't know if you're bringing like slews of people. Oh no! Probably. I mean, I, my kids but, will buy tickets. I. But do do I need to purchase no. a ticket? No. Okay. No. Um, and I'd, I would say purchase yeah, quickly because like, oh. it sells out like within, within a day or right? so. It'll sell out. We sold out in six hours for seven hundred fifty. Yeah. Wow. So what time on Monday? Nine. nine. This year, people nine o'clock on Monday. If you need to buy tickets, so <laughs> yeah. So if any of you are yeah. planning on going and then would like to take Kindle, some time, I, to worry about tickets. Would you buy your tickets on Monday? Yeah. Um, you, I mean, that's okay. Yeah. Is so it, who do I have? So Cindy, you would want to be a, like a two-hour volunteer. Yeah. Okay. If you need um, me four hours, I would do it. Because okay. then if we go if, too much beyond that, we have to have a switch. Okay. I All right. Good. Any other volunteers, so. or someone who might be attending but might step out for a while to volunteer? I wish I could. I know he has a he has an opening for his show. I have a gallery opening. No worries. Evening. No worries. Yeah. I'm just trying to create the yeah. schedule. Mm -hmm. You'll be busy doing I'll other be things. Available. Oh. You'll be plenty. Yeah. And you don't you put me on. Yeah, a couple hours. And what course. time I'm can you be there to set up? I ask <laughs> everyone <laughs> to be in, to be loaded in by four because uh, I, I don't want out traffic. I mean, I, you can drive in and load in. Show up whenever, but done by four. We should yeah, volunteer okay. Lisa since she's not here. Yeah. Well, her husband we'll be, is going to, we'll yeah, Lisa should already. be working, too. And I'm going to put her down. Soon. Will she already have a ticket yeah, doesn't because she's Valley coming with way. Len kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. And I'm assuming Hassan, I don't know, I'm thinking. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah. yeah. And Christy, yes. So she will be a volunteer of the five. Oh, yeah. So me. I'm just going to say Steve, <laughs> me, and Christy will be there the whole time. We'll be three of the five. Mm -hmm. And then the other, I'm sorry, I just lost my voice. I don't <laughs> so know what happened. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's four. We could slot you guys. Let's say you and are one, yeah, exactly. yeah. but cool. split up. Yeah, I, I can be there the whole time. It's just a matter of... Um, and yeah. Jay's gallivanting I, about the Big Apple today, so we can make him do whatever. He's yeah. not here to speak for And he's, he's got it slotted in. So. Yeah, he has his okay. calendar, so we can make him do whatever. So I, I guess if you guys are bringing families, maybe buy tickets on Monday morning. Okay. Um, if there's three people with families. And, but kids are free under 18. Oh, under 18. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so you have to get them free tickets. What's that? Do you have to get them tickets? You do have to get tickets for them, though. Okay. okay. So because you have a capacity. We have a, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll work on getting um, sort of a run of show on our end, how much this is going to cost, how we're going to build a thing. Oh, my God. It's in my head. You, yeah. Are you going to build it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've been drawing specs already. I, already have my I love it. I'm like, you're so handy. Four lengths, I'm all set. Got it. Um, I, yeah, and then uh, giant pieces of paper. Can do. Um, I will. I will do the tissue paper thing because okay, I'm an old pro. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is great. It gives us some direction and um, kind of helps us hone in on what we're. Okay, so I have the five volunteers, and you two are split, and you and Jay are split. Okay. Yeah, the consultant team to close the gaps. Yeah. Keep it at that, yeah. Yeah, we'll be there. And then people can, like, if you if, guys are there, you can cycle out and spell, and if you like, guys Steve or me. want to buy tickets ahead of time, let me know. I have a ticket sale open right now for our monthly givers, and I could just let our public art people buy well, tickets that would be early great. so you, you don't have to be stressed out about it. with Julie and buy your tickets early. So okay. just contact me if you want me to send you that link. Appreciate so, it. Okay. And then you guys, too, if you want to bring family or something. So... 
Sounds like a really fun event. So it's really I, fun. I uh, have a feeling my kids will actually they would really love enjoy it. going. It's really and they train rides and uh, all sorts cool. of stuff. Cool, awesome. So it's ten thirty. So do you mm-hmm. mind staying for a few more minutes? Do you have a few more minutes? Okay. You don't have any. Sorry, are you good? You guys. Well, I think we're set. Yeah, that was what okay. we wanted to cover. We Thanks just have a few little business things. Okay. We're taking over oh, your agenda. One thing, I, one thing, maybe this is a conversation for the next meeting. Is what what we do moving forward with the framework plan and we talked a little bit about um, you know we talked about the framework plan but we've also talked internally about the reworking of the, the um, handbook the Hildegard handbook so um, just need to kind of suss that out exactly what our expectations are in terms of what we're actually putting together as a deliverable for this, this whole process so um, we'll know more also after our, our you know July 18th and we'll be able to kind of put this input into the plan and that kind of thing so you know just want to make sure that we're the next meeting maybe we have a chance to talk through what mm-hmm. our what yeah, expectations are. are yeah yeah, yeah. Perfect. that's good Thank fantastic you. you were here for most of our meeting <laughs> <laughs> thank you I so guess much. I, spoke too soon. Soon. <laughs> I think this is gonna be a really neat opportunity at summer jam for the this group of the 750 people are very passionate, engaged Goldenites, and it'll yeah. be great feedback and great education about to get people excited and yeah. and also to position the Public Art Commission. Um, great, so it's cool. So uh, yeah, great. we'll we'll um, work on that, and those are our goals. Thank you very Thanks much, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thanks for the fun ideas. And nice to meet you. Yeah. 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 Good job. Now you see how Welcome the aboard. Yes. Turn and, and they sort of fi- find their way to uh, the top at the very last second. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, okay. So um, sorry. So next thing. Downtown trash containers. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'll give you the very short. <laughs> Is that all right? I'm going to give you the mm-hmm. short yeah. version. So, to improve Clear Creek management in the downtown experience, Creek and downtown, the city is changing. It's um, going to uh, very likely issue, <laughs> it's not an RFP for a new hauler to empty the trash cans and is going to be adding trash cans. So the bottom line is these have not been purchased yet, but they're going to be ordered. And eight of them are going to be downtown at the corners of Washington and 13th, where we get a lot of trash. And there is an option to wrap them with either historic photos or modern photos or art and so forth. Mm-hmm. So you don't need to decide right now. We don't have them yet, and they would they that would be added later after at the earliest delivery would be like sometime in August. <laughs> so the question is, um, so Steve wrote what we wrote, there'll be likely eight and 10 containers downtown. Um, the ones on the creek are most likely gonna be plain. They're gonna be black, either City of Golden logo or information on how to be a good creek user. But the ones downtown could be, have decor. And is there some feeling that you, how yes, would you? Art. 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 How do you feel about that, Randy? So does that mean you would be interested in doing a call? Kind of like we did the electrical boxes. Right, that would be a call. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think so, don't you, ladies? You don't, and this is not like, this would be like a first indication. You wouldn't, we don't have, they haven't been ordered yet. Mm -hmm. So we don't have budget or. I would agree we're definitely interested in doing that. Why would the ones along Clear Creek not just be brown yeah. and not well, black because they need to um, um, have information for Clear Creek users. Oh, oh and okay. The parks okay. To, yeah. So right now we're only I suggesting gotcha. that we talk about the ones on Washington, not the ones on Creek, because like the Parks Department has to decide what information they need to provide. So they might either be plain or might have how to be a good Creek user, or this is recycling. This is you know. So the the request to you is to talk about. Um, the ones downtown first. I mean, I, I like, I like, I love art, but I also think some of the History Museum's historic photos would be super cool um, because people visiting Golden will eat that up. All of our um, the the boroughs riding up the West Castle Rock, Rock and 
Um, maybe I mean, Native, Native Americans yeah. that lived here. Could I don't be. know if we have many photos. It could of, be a mix, maybe. It could be a mix, house. potentially. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like that idea, too. Or it could be historical photos it, that are, done in an art that, way. I love that idea. Yeah. That mm -hmm. could be real. I've seen that done mm -hmm. in other places. Because it celebrates our character and our culture, but it's also with a artistic... It could be done like a fun artistic collage mm -hmm. type thing or whatever. So the and the History Museum has some amazing photos in the collection. That I'm do. in complete agreement. I do think we need to just sort of be, think about or be thoughtful of these are trash containers. So like, I don't want to put a picture of cheap <laughs> ure on a trash <laughs> container. Yeah. Um, the bad you know, is true. To be Good point. sensitive. Yes. But I agree yes. with everything you're mm -hmm. saying. <laughs> yeah. Good it point. is a combo because like stuff is going to like get on the front of this. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So again, we're not asking you to budget anything at this point because the mm -hmm. habit has been ordered. It hasn't been approved to be ordered yet, but we can come back to you with a little more information as we know when they'll be available because and 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 they would be just you know delivered here and anything would be added later. It, the decision isn't like so they might show up and then stuff is added at some point after that. It wouldn't be that, like, we have to have this information to the factory right. now. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Yeah, the electrical boxes were so popular. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they're so beautiful. I think, I think mm -hmm. some form of history and art on those would be fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then um, budget update, what's, oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to do your the yeah, next thing, Commissioner comment? I does anyone else have comments? Um, I just want to invite all of you to my um, Golden History Museum show. It opens just on, on Thursday the 20th. It opens on the 9th <laughs> and closes on October 2nd. And um, yeah, you're all working at Summer Jam, so you can't come to the opening. But we are going to have in August. Um, a day in my studio we're, we're going to do another open house slash reception um, and it's going to involve um, food photography <coughs> so it'll be fun um, the gala for Foothills is July 15th um, tickets are going fast we have 18 tickets left on the main floor wow. and about 36 tickets left in the mezzanine so if you're interested. What date is it? That it it's 20? July 15th. 15th, okay. 15th. And then um, tomorrow we're doing Morning Start, and that is a Poet Laureate, and it will be at um, Cafe 13. Mm -hmm. Cool. Do you have to buy tickets if it's there, or do you just show up? Two for? Morning Start? No, no, you just sign up. Um, just go to... Um, the Foothills website and go to events and just click on the morning start and just sign up. It's free. Okay. Yeah. But if you don't sign up, can you show You can up? still come. Yeah. <laughs> I would pr I like would that. prefer if you have time and didn't sign up to come, yes. Okay. I think it's going to be fun having a Poet Laureate. Yeah, that's cool. That's a cool invitation. And that's I have, all I have. I have a quick announcement, which is... Uh, the Library Summer Challenge started yesterday. It goes for two months. <clears throat> it's fun. It's free. It's easy. Mm -hmm. It's for all ages, even adults. Mm -hmm. um, it's good for any kids in your life if you participate because then you're setting a great example for them. Um, do you so have social media fun. go? Or to, oh, do, yeah. Do you get, okay, I'll go share that from Civic Foundation. Yeah, and if you don't, if you can't find it, let me know. Okay. I'll, put you in okay. connection with our social media guys. Mm -hmm. And yes, please promote it for us. That would be great. Mm -hmm. We typically get, well, pre-COVID, we had like 45,000 participants. Mm -hmm. Last year, we had 25,000. So we're trying to get back to our, mm -hmm. our mm -hmm. numbers. So if you would That's participate, awesome. I'd love it. Thank mm -hmm. you. That's awesome. That is great. All right. Anybody Julie, else? Julie, anything on your end? Um, Mm, nope. I just um, tickets go on sale Monday morning at 9 a.m. 
We did do, uh, the Golden Civic Foundation did our community, I think I talked about that, the community grants um, celebration where we announced 248,000 funds invested back into the nonprofits in Golden. Um, yeah, and that's all I have to report. And Hassan said that, well, you already told him he art or photos or both as a wrap on the garbage cans. Mm -hmm. And he said, another comment is that Arts Week is coming up July 7th to 15th, and does the PAC want to have any other opportunities to participate during that time? If so, let me know. May I just jump in? My recommendation would be itty bitty art committee stuff and the videos. Well, do you want to do a booth promoting the survey like we did at Summer Jam or no? Um. I mean, we can. I, I, I kind of thought that Kendall felt like you were that was a better audience. Gotcha. Okay, because that was art. You're right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So not anything during the art show. Did I hear? Am I hearing that correctly? That's the what, last that's weekend that has the art. Show. Yeah. Wait, she she recommended not do it, not because it'd be skewed towards the art community. Art. And okay, so um, so doing something at the gala. Am I hearing this? Well, no, she thought doing the like a, a booth and that whole thing was better at Summer Jam because she thought Arts Week was too arts oriented. Okay, right. um, I don't know that she said no to Arts Week. She yeah. just said, okay, you know, one or the other. Yeah, she just said be careful better, if so. we. Right. Right. But we could certainly let all of the attendees throughout our suite know about itty bitty through right. the promotion that we Well that's what I'm thinking. I mean I, I feel like I hate turning an opportunity yeah. down to right. help we, to promote the public art commission. Because right. we need more public engagement. But um, if we commit right. we have to create something and we have to have people there to run it. And for example, I'm out. That made us all go quiet. Uh, right, and I'm you know, out of town. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. and I'm I think like Kendall and her team probably aren't going to be there, no. and it's not going to be right. so much information gathering. It's going to be more promoting us. But having like something up about the survey, like just like when people check in, I can't remember how it is. I haven't been there since before COVID. You, there is a check-in. There was like a check-in. They, they won't let us have a booth if it's not there. Yeah. Like, I wonder if but yeah. we could maybe try to do something passive where we are not there, but. I don't think that we would get a booth. Um, I mean, it would be like summer jam. You like. Oh. If you get a booth, you have to have somebody right. there. Yeah, they don't want so, a bunch of like empty booths. Mm -hmm. Right, sense. yeah. So Less I think if we sense. committed, we would have to have one or two of us there during whatever right. time that is. And, it's like and the hard thing, hours, the hours. hard thing about that is it's so long. I mean, like we, if we yeah. had a booth there, it's yeah, five for a yeah. Many, many I, hours. I was thinking I'm like one year I volunteered and I was at like the check-in booth and I think we had those little books that we made and little brochures and so I was kind of passing those out so we had like take our survey like a little signage let's, or something. Let's like, ask Hassan yeah. if we can have a mobile um, area where a couple of us could show up with like a podium or something and we could pass information out about itsy bitsy art or survey or something or where we're not sitting stationary yeah, in a yeah. booth for 16 hours. Right, yeah. I almost wondered if there was something at the like the beer <laughs> tent where you just have a, a plexiglass stand. I, people aren't probably going to do it though. Um, promoting yeah. the itty bitty art project and yeah. Uh, I mean we could oh, ask yeah. that. We could ask if we could have a a space for a stationary display mm -hmm. where we create something and it I'll, just I'll sits them. there. Especially if maybe we piggyback, because I'm sure Foothills will have a booth. There's going to be a booth for Foothills. Yeah, they have a, like right? a hospitality so booth. Like and sort of But I like the idea so of just having um, a like a hours? poster banner or something that yeah. talks about um, the itty bitty art project, and then if we're yeah, organized soon enough, we could do a QR code mm -hmm. for people to take the survey. That sounds good. I'll ask them. 
if there could be something that is um, not staffed mm -hmm. the entire time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so those are your comments. So back to budget, if that's all right. Kat. Yep. Um, you got money, and some of it's being spent right now. And if you go over to Howdy Folks, I have an email from, I got the, they're working on Howdy Folks, Buffalo Bill, today and tomorrow, and um, the email this morning said she, they're out, they're going to be out there today. Cool. So if you want to go say hi, you can mm -hmm. say hi. Okay. Um, and uh, so that is um, your budget, um, and collection maintenance is happening, and, um, Given the Excuse me. morning start update, so yeah, and you have no additional public comment. Perfect. Um, all right, so does do I move to adjourn? I, I move to adjourn this meeting. Is there a second? I'll second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Well done, everyone. Yeah. Well done to our chairs. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Robin, I'll be sending out to all Cheer the nonprofit activities. I'll be sending out kind of a, a logistics <laughs> email in the next I think she's to film. week. Great. So you'll know the times yet to be loaded. Like doing that job. Any details like that, where to park and all that kind of stuff. Thank you. So I'm looking forward to it. I was going to go last year and had to be out of town, and now I'm in town. <laughs> I love it because I okay. people have been writing me saying, "Do you have to have proof of a golden address to attend?" And I, well, you don't, but you I. But we try to. Radio? Yeah, because we we promote it as a golden locals event, uh, um, um, which I think is kind of fun that they think they can't come if they're not from Golden. Hey, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, it's what they're asking. Like when they do the um, tree limb collection. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do need to. Oh, yeah, Rick, you need golden. You might need to do this. Mm -hmm. Rick, how much are the tickets to the gala? The, the main floor is 135 Okay, and how much is the upper? Um, Can you turn these off? Um, they they go off when I put them away. Okay, oh. and there are like 18 left on the main floor? Yeah. Okay. And would yeah, you If I got two, would you just mix them? Um, how does that work? Right. If we're on the main floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have, we have.